Hey everyone, it's Frosted, and today I'm just gonna show you how to make a potion counter mod. I don't know how to say that, like, it's just gonna count every potion that you have in your inventory, so it will show you how many potions left that you have in your fights. So let's go. First of all, you wanna go in your GUI and game class. So let me just search that. It's supposed to be over here somewhere. Yep, right there. So you wanna go in your GUI and game and um, just right now you will want to create a new a new variable with sword and integer so it's gonna be let's call it potion and inventory so and we'll assign in the value of zero so we want to put equal zero yeah, just like that um, so okay I need to put integer right here sorry um, okay and by the way I'm just gonna remove I believe yeah I'm just gonna remove inventory full thing okay yeah so when you have this variable done you want to go and render game overlay and you know we'll just go right over here right after render player stats or one of my last tutorial right here as you can see so the tutorial on the tool tip so let's go so first of all you will want to add your item stack so my item stack in my case I'm just making a mod to count all the potion that you have in your inventory so Will be the item stack potion new item stack and it will be items that potion item and we will want one and then sixteen thousand four hundred twenty one yep sixteen sixteen thousand four hundred twenty one so that will be the metadata for the the, the eel potion yeah the splash potion of eel two you know like eel two yeah I don't know let's say that so then item count and we'll put as um, as a constructor of this method potion and it's so we'll put an item stack so we don't have this method right now but we'll just create it later so then you will want to take some render helper and enable GUI standard item lightning then we will want mc dot get render item dot render item and effect into GUI and we'll take this tag, the X position. So for me right now, I'm just going to put the uh, scale resolution. So I'm supposed to have scale resolutions here somewhere. Um, I don't know, right, it's called scale resolution. I'll just create a new one or actually, in, in, yeah, no, I won't create a new one for that because that would just be confusing. So yeah. Um, so I'll just set it in the middle of the screen, but for you, you can set it wherever you want. But I'll just divide the width by two and the eighth by two. Here we go. So then, um, yeah, you'll need, um, um, yeah. So wait, you'll need um, my MC dot get render item again dot render item uh, overlay and two GUI yep, right there. And then you want the font renderer um, with the item stack. And then the exposition. So we'll just put the same exposition that you put um, up there on the other on the other render item. So for mine it was scale width divided by two, and your scale height divided by two. And the text you'll just put the potion and in an inventory variable plus an empty string. So yeah, that will be great, right? Like that. Uh, then you will want to put another render helper, and we will disable the send our item lightning and now we should be good with all of that so let's go create our item count uh, method so we'll be able to count all the potion that we, that we have in our inventories so um i'm right under this render game overlay okay let's go so uh, you will want to ma make it public void um item count and put item stack item or stack or whatever you want to call it. I'll just call it um, stack. Okay, so um, we will want to put potion and inventory. We'll set it to zero because we don't want it to go infinitely up. You know, we don't want it, it to always addition itself. So for int i equals zero, i is smaller than um, yeah, it's smaller than mc dot the player dot inventory dot get size inventory. Yep. 
and then we'll make I++, so we'll addition it. So that will check all the slots that the player has in his inventory. So um, we'll make an if mc.theplayer.inventory dot oh dot inventory dot get stack in slot e oh, or i yeah is an equals null because we don't want it to be null and if the item stack in the inventory or no the stack no the item stack in slot so if e equals the item that we've put so get item stack equals and we'll put um, item just open all those and I have a mirror. Yep, because I'm winning stacks. Super. Okay. Um, so then you will want to put potion and inventory in it. Um, yep, potion and inventory in it and just put plus plus. So now I'll just, um, yep, I'll just launch the game and we'll see if it works. Okay, so right now I'm in the main menu. I'm just stopping my music right now. So I'm not going to show you this because I believe that it's copyrighted. I don't know. Um, okay, so as you can see, we have the potions right there. So we have, we have the potion rendered with a zero. Okay, so if you're wondering right now what's happening with my voice in the video is because I'm recording it uh, like a voiceover right now. So that's why I'm recording it in English. And yeah, because that was originally a video in French. Um, so here we go, just put some potions, some yield potions, um, like, like that, we'll just take like 12 potions, just like that. Okay, so as you can see, it shows me 12, and if we do a little fast map, as you can see, we have 9 potions right there, 10, 11, and 12, so that's working well. So if I throw some potions, as you can see, it's really going down, so now I'm only at 3 potions, now I'm at 0. Oh my god. So now I'll just show you a bit of code where I've put the, um, I'll just modify something. So you can count like the amount of golden apples that you want. So if you want to count this, what you want to do, it's do plus equal and stack. So you will get the, um, no, not really. The mc.theplayer.inventory.getStack and slot the i.stack size. There you go. So that will addition all these stack sizes you have. So if it's a stack size of 32 and you have another stack size of 32, it will make 64. If you have even another stack of 10, I don't know, it will make 74 and etc. So as you can see right now, it will still work with potions and it will work with all the other items. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, I'm really sorry if my voice is like a bit um, not straight with the video, but yeah, I'm just making a voiceover. And if you have um, like this little effect right there, I don't know if it's just on my side or whatever but I'll just show you a little fix to fix that if you have it uh, too so you just want to go at your code so it's where you put your render helper and your renders yeah so you will want gel state manager dot push matrix oh not push attribute but push matrix there you go and then we'll just pop the matrix under it and um, right like that so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and that should fix all the bugs if you add ones. So yeah, see you in the next one.